Because horses are naturally large and intimidating, it can be important to help people understand that that fear is part of what helps them learn what other things they're afraid of. My name is Joyce Korsgen. I'm a licensed professional counselor and I'm the executive director of Alliance Counseling and the Center of Hearing Health. The best examples of how horses help people come from the patients we have here. Some of the more, uh, I think, extraordinary circumstances involve children who are autistic. And so some children who are autistic really don't talk at all. But we've had several examples of people who have brought autistic children to the farm that start talking to the horse or talking about the horse or describing the world. And it's an extraordinary moment. Parents cry when they see that happen. It just became more and more evident that the horses were the key to so many people's uh, recovery that we were able to expand it. And now it's an ecotherapy program where we have lots of other animals. We use donkeys a lot for helping people with anxiety because it's, they're just so calm. You know, it takes a lot to upset a donkey. Oh, oh. hi bud. It's a menagerie of animals, and every one of them helps somebody. People practice equine therapy in several different ways. The way that we practice here is based on the EGALA model, the Equine Assisted Growth and Learning Association. And in that model, we use metaphor to help people tell their story. So if we can do things with animals, with horses in particular, and get through it with a lot of confidence, it builds self-confidence and helps people to take on other challenges in their lives. <laughs>